This is Dabu7. A lot of questions after Mrs. Clinton has had several incidents in public in regards to her health, wobbly legs, coughing fits, and this goes back months and months. I also want to state that the Parkinson's post that was put out there, I forget the site that put it out there, but they had removed it and brought it down completely without explanation. Now, this is where things get a little bit weird. I don't believe in coincidences. Some could say some things could happen, odds this, odds that. Well, today, it just so happened that Hillary's body double was trending all over the place. And then saying she has special glasses and all this other stuff. So I went looking, and I did find a Teresa Barnhill that is her doppelganger that looks dead on her when she dresses up. And she even went as far as to mess with people and go back out in front of the same building and take a picture just to stir the pot a little bit more. And people weren't going to realize that until you dig all the way to the bottom. And people were like, where's the security guard, Secret Service, if this was really Hillary walking down the street in all this? So the questions were flying. Now they're saying more health records will be released. So for those that missed it, on my backup channel, Dabu777, I put out a video titled Hillary Clinton Dead, New York News Station Reports of Her Death in Air with a question mark. And the reason I say with a question mark is because they quickly retracted this. And I know the video is very blurry, but I got to give a shout out to the folks that went back and found the original. This came from the 5 or the 6 o'clock evening news uh, from yesterday evening. They were wearing the exact same clothes, and we found the original clip. And yes, they they took it off air as soon as the guy said it. He says something about Hillary Clinton's death here. You can hear it right here. See? So... When I saw that, after seeing all the body double stuff, I said, what's going on here? They just keep pushing this. It's like they're, they're getting the people's minds conditioned. And I went looking further. Guess who will fill her shoes if she steps down? Your vice president, Joe Biden, Mr. Mafia, the one that's been behind the scenes quietly this whole time. You never hardly see or hear of him anywhere doing anything. And truly... One calling the shots behind the scenes. If he fills her shoes, they're going to push him to the fullest. Out of nowhere. With all the media backing and support and all this and that. And they'll probably time it out at, at the very end, very close to election day here. Here within the next month or so. I mean, things are coming down to the wire. Election day, November 8th. If Hillary Clinton's going to get out of this race, then someone else is going to step up. It needs to happen soon. But if they wait to the last minute, they won't give Trump or anyone else a chance to run ads, anything bad to try to run against them. We know how they operate. So, I post this video, and somebody hits me with this. And we've tracked it back. We found the original. Once again, it's ABC News. So, what I just showed you off of Dabu 777 was them stating that Hillary Clinton has died. Breaking news. And then they cut it off air immediately. It's ABC News. Here again, ABC News. Reported to have died under hospital treatment. This was up for just a few minutes. Fixer guy got screenshots of it here. And it goes right along with it. What does ABC know? How come not only did someone literally write it out to where the guy read it off of the teleprompter right here, and then they cut it off, but somebody even wrote the story, made the link, made the headline, and it actually even got posted for a short moment of time before it too got yanked with no explanation. Now, all this coincidence, I think not. The true question is, 
what is going on here. And it seems to me they are very much priming the American public to get ready for this woman to go down and last minute someone to fill her shoes. And everyone keeps thinking, who will it be? Well, the first man on the list is Biden. And he will not pass up that opportunity if this hasn't been the plan the whole time. So, Hillary, they say, oh, she had pneumonia, needed help getting in this van, right? What the hell was going on here months ago? It wasn't pneumonia. How come Yahoo or whoever it was that posted the Parkinson's disease retracted it with no explanation? Anyhow, seems to me this is a charade that they've had planned for some time. Even her coughing fit seems so fake. Her buckling at the knees seems fake. And I think this whole thing has been orchestrated for her to potentially be removed from the equation and enter your dark horse, Mr. Joe Biden. I'm warning you guys. They do not want to give up this power. It's the same cartel. It was Obama, Biden, Clinton that were all in that round room in Benghazi when them guys is getting killed and everything else. Right. It's the same cartel. So that's the warning here. As all of this really seems staged. Her coughing fits. On purpose in front of everyone. And if you paid attention, there was no coughing before or after she got on stage. The little fit in front of the camera getting into the vehicle. All this stuff is being perfectly timed in front of the camera. What are the odds of that? There's too much here. You have to ask the question, what is going on? To me, it seems like they're planting the subliminal seeds here of a potential... Hillary replacement coming in, especially if, if it continues down this path. But more health records to be released, talk of the body double, a slip up on live television saying that she's dead, then they post a post saying that she's dead, and it all just seems to me like this is all geared toward getting Biden in that seat at the last minute. So really, this is going to be a day-by-day -day thing. I'm also hearing chatter on the back end that something big involving Hillary Clinton is going to be happening within this next week. And really, if there's going to be a replacement, it's crunch time. We're coming down, we're coming down to election time. They've just got just a couple months to get this right on what they're going to do. And really, we talk about it all the time. Anything can happen at any given moment. We just passed 9-11. Guys, don't forget who was behind that. All of you following me should be awake and hip. Don't forget who did it. Who allowed it to happen. Who allowed our American patriots, men and women, to jump from those windows of those buildings as they were imploded including Building 7 that was never hit by a plane. I mean, the writing's on the wall. It truly is. Now, I'll continue to update, as I always do. But this one, got questions all over it, with Hillary Clinton. And also, make sure to check out our recent sponsor here, Essential Drugstore. I chose to go with them because I thought it would be a good fit here and an opportunity for people out here to be able to stock up on medical supplies before it does hit the fan. And I've never really had that opportunity or a hook hookup or a connection like this until now that's legit, licensed, and people can get their antibiotics. They can get uh, heart medicine, insulin if they're diabetic. It's tough you're going to need to stock up on in case it does hit the fan, and it's going to at some point. So I thought that this was a good option to have out here for people if you need it utilize it you can also save 10 percent by mentioning my name because they are our current sponsor as far as this hillary stuff goes 
wouldn't be a damn bit surprised if something huge happens here within the next week. It's Midabu 7.